Nationwide protests for the third straight day after video was released showing Tyree Nichols being beaten by Memphis police officers. Thousands of demonstrators came out in California as well. From Oakland to Los Angeles, people filled the streets to demand change in the way they're policed. Dolan begins our coverage tonight from the protests in Oakland, where it's not just the demonstrators outraged by the death of Nichols, but many police officers as well. A few hundred protesters marched down Broadway in downtown Oakland Sunday evening chanting. They're fed up, hurt, and angry by yet another police killing. And I'm tired of black men getting killed by the police, whether they're black cops or white cops, because they're all blue to me. Oakland resident Brian Johnson says the fact the officers arrested for killing Tyree Nichols are black shows him it's a systemic problem. They're not black, they're blue. When you, that's a fraternity. They're part of that brotherhood. The protesters march to the Oakland Police Department. Some say it's time to get rid of all police departments. We are not that department. Chief Bill Scott says it's not fair to lump together SFPD and the Memphis Police Department. Get policies in place, hold people accountable to those policies, put good training in place, and create a culture where that type of behavior is unacceptable. And I think we have a culture in this organization where that type of behavior is unacceptable. Reverend Amos Brown invited law enforcement, faith, and community leaders to Third Baptist Church to talk about preventing police brutality. It sets us back. Retired SFPD Captain Yolanda Williams is the president of Officers for Justice. Her organization has been pushing to hire more black and brown officers to police their own communities. We actually witnessed in the year 2023 the polar opposite of what we had fought so hard for. So now it's a greater understanding for me and I think others that the color is not what makes the difference in the delivery of the police service. It is actually the contents of your heart if you still are an ethical person. Johnson says he cried when he saw the police beating video, and it's made him even more fearful of the police. All cops are not bad because when I need them, I call them. And so there is the, the dichotomy. The protests ended peacefully around 7.30. A few people spray painted graffiti during the march. Some protesters actually tried to stop them. Overall, no major damage and no arrests. Laurel Toms was also at the protest tonight talking to people in the crowd about why they feel it's important to show up. Hundreds of people marched in solidarity for Tyree Nichols here in Oakland, demanding police reform. But one local leader warns this tragic incident in Memphis is all too familiar and could happen anywhere. For Nina Joyner, marching for Tyree Nichols is personal. For me, it says that we still have the spirit of fight left in Oakland, that we can actually do the good fight, we can actually get in some good trouble, and we also can do both as far as uh, merchants being able to come to work the next day. She owns a business nearby and loves Oakland, even running for city council last year. But a long-standing frustration with the police department has her speaking up in demanding change for her community. Oakland has to change something for us to actually see the vibrancy that we are expecting. I mean, we're in the middle of we're in the middle of the ocean, and everybody has to travel through Oakland to get to somewhere. Why do we have all the issues that we have? But she and many others marching believe that the deadly beating of Tyree Nichols at the hands of Memphis police could happen even here in her beloved town. She even thought about how to address her community if it does. I was always praying every day what I would say to the community if that happened as an African-American being in position of power to uh, affect change and what would I say? And I was praying that it never happened. Change, she says, is the only way to keep herself and her community safe. I think it's the passion of the people, uh, the spirit and the grit. When uh, when there's nothing here, there's still something. There's as a kid and wanted to move here. I, I just want something different. I want a different story to tell. <laughs> In a statement Saturday, the Oakland police denounced the killing of Tyree Nichols and other incidents of police brutality and says such incidents do not represent the men and women of the Oakland police.